Do you know what I wish people knew about living with a mental illness? Well, I'm gonna tell you that, so let's go. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sheena. I'm the owner and founder of Christian Creative Mental, a creative ministry for people with mental illnesses. If that's something you're interested in seeing more about, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell beside it so you don't hit, miss any of my future uploads. So today we're going to talk about what I wish people knew about living with a mental illness. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about like depression and anxiety because depression and anxiety are something that a lot more people have but I'm talking about a lot more of your serious mental illnesses so like DID, BPD, PTSD, CPTSD, bipolar, schizophrenia, those mental illnesses. I feel like I need to be closer to the camera. Do I need to be closer? Like, can you see me better? I mean, like, you could answer me or something, you know. But, like, those kind of mental illnesses. And having, so let's see. I have DID with BPD traits. I've been diagnosed with PTSD, CPTSD, I think that's all, but I mean like those kind of all go hand in hand. Yes, I have depression and I have anxiety, so yeah, isn't that fun? And my mother had schizophrenia, yeah. So a serious mental illness is not something that I would wish on anybody it's just not it's not something that I would wish on my worst enemy it's just it is hard hard to live with and it is not something that people understand it's not something like most people don't get it most people don't understand it like why can't you just does my hair look crazy <laughs> like I did it I don't know like I'm just tired of it it's probably time for a haircut, I guess, but like I kind of want to grow it out. I kind of want to chop it off. It's at this length that I hate, so I put mousse in it today, which I don't know. I'm just tired of my hair. But seeing it in the camera, I'm like flipping it this way and flipping it that way. Focus. I might have a little ADHD too. <laughs> Serious mental illnesses is just not something that people understand. People don't get it. They reject you. They push you away. People can go from being your friend to having nothing to do with you overnight or like that. They find out you have a mental illness. Now, here's the hard thing about that. I'm going to get close. Most mental illnesses are caused by childhood trauma. It is not my fault that I have a mental illness. It is not her fault or his fault or anybody else's fault that has them. We didn't ask for them. We would love to not have them. But because of stuff that happened to us, our brains change. And there is scientific research that shows it. And, I, and it's been a while since I've read it and I haven't gone back and looked at it, but I highly, highly recommend reading The Body Keeps the Score 
because it talks about all of that and it is amazing some of the things you will learn. Before I was diagnosed with DID, when I was just diagnosed with BPD, I read The Body Keeps the Score and talking about childhood trauma before I knew about the things that happened between the ages of 3 to 10 when I only knew about what happened when I was 14 and all of that is sexual abuse and that changes your brain in so many ways. And that's what causes you to have a mental illness. And that is not something that is our fault. And that is something that I promise you, if I could go back and protect myself as a baby and as a toddler, and as a little child and as a teenager I would have but I mean I can't so you know that's one thing that people don't understand is that most mental illnesses are caused by childhood trauma most medicine it doesn't help there's no medicine to help with DID. There's no medicine that changes switching, that um, anything like that. There's just, there's not any. And that's, I talked about it in a previous video about United States of Terra. And if you want me to do a review on that video on United States of Terra, let me know in the comments below and I will. But like one of the big incorrect things in United States of Terra is that I can't remember what the medication was that they gave her, but it was supposed to like suppress her ulcers. That that's not true. Like it doesn't stop her ulcers from switching. It doesn't. I mean, like we have different triggers. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is like totally different, but. <laughs> Sheena cannot put these false eyelashes on to save my life. Sally put this one on. Beautiful. Worked great. Looked wonderful. I attempted to put this one on twice because after Sally put this one on, something happened. I think a kid, like, wanted to come in the room. And Sally, like, flipped. And Sheena came back real fast. Three times later, Sally finally switched back and got that eyelash on because Sheena was about to rip this one off. And it'll just be, I mean, like, things will happen that will cause our alters to come in and switch like that. And we don't have any control over it. That's just how it works. But there's not any medicine that helps them. Now... I know schizophrenia and bipolar, which I don't have any personal experience with either. I mean, my mother has or had schizophrenia and my best friend and another one of my close friends have bipolar. And I do know that there's medication to help with bipolar and schizophrenia, but I'm not sure like exactly all of that. With BPD, you know, you can kind of mix up a cocktail of medicine that'll kind of help, but I'll be honest, it's hard because what might help one person isn't necessarily going to help the next. And finding the right cocktail of medication to help you is like horrible. So, I've batch recorded today, and this is like the 
third or fourth video I've filmed, but before filming I had not filmed for a while and that was because I had not felt well because of some medicine changes because of my fibromyalgia and I had not felt well because of some medicine changes because of my fib for my fibromyalgia and I mean it just been hard for like three weeks and then like my allergies were bothering me so it was just it was really really rough and I mean like I was pretty sure at one point that I had strep throat and it was just kind of like a mixture of allergies and like fibromyalgia flared up and it was really really rough so I mean like med like a smallest change in medicine for somebody that has a mental illness like can be hard because also it takes like a week or so for medicines to really get in your system whenever you do change something for you to see any results so I mean it's medicine changes are hard if you do like find any medicine that helps having a mental illness and living with the mental illness is an everyday battle every single day there is some kind of battle getting out of the bed like just getting up like i just don't really want to get up i really just want to go back to bed roll over go back to sleep but i have responsibilities and i have things i have to get up and tend to and things i have to get up and do even though i really don't want to so i have to force myself to get out of bed and some days i'm able to do it and some days i'm not able to do it and yeah i mean like i every single day is a battle and that is why like having self-care and including self-care is so important and taking care of yourself is so so important don't overdo it because it is hard my mind just went like completely blank and i'm just like there was something i mean like every day is a battle with my last note <laughs> and I was like there was something else I was gonna say in that and now I've like completely forgotten and the joys of DID and dissociating and who is wanting to front and take over because I'm not sure who because nobody really wants to like feel but yeah those are just some things that I would like for people to know what it is like living with a mental illness. If you liked this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell beside it. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.